recruiting videos. They get you fired up as a young guy to join the military. You want to get after it. Let's take a look at how we do it in the West versus the East. Let's go. So this first video, we're going to have Australia's version for recruitment in the UK back to back. Then we're going to look at what the Chinese do. So we'll figure out how we get the best of the best warriors and we we'll recruit each culture. I think it's telling. It tells us a lot about what the military is looking for. We got this kind of Joan Baez, smooth hippie stuff going. Makes you feel like it's going to be fun. Maybe smoke up some ganja. Now, watching this, the first thing I observe is it seems like it's disproportionately females compared to how many of that are in. So, I've seen about 50 50 ladies so far. I don't think it's 50 50 in the Aussie military. That could be a push, right? To get more in, get more ladies in. They've shown probably as it goes on minorities, a third, a third, a third. You know, we saw an Asian man, an African man, you know, they're all Australians, but they're showing that's multicultural, the UN, right? So what were your takeaways from what the Australians are doing? This was like the feel-good, join-the-military recruiting ad. Now, I know the Australians in particular want to, and so do we, the U.S., want to get more females in the military. Not a bad idea, of course. Based on the U.N.'s recommendations for peacekeeping, we need a more gender-equal force, the U.N. has said, in a white paper. In particular, the Australians recently commented and posted on it that we need to have more females in our UN warfighting class. In this case, we call it peacekeeping class. Let's take a look at what the Brits have to offer. All right, let me hope this is some training exercise, right? Man's praying. It's part of his religion. Pray five times a day. I got it. Want to recruit more Muslims to the ranks. Nothing wrong with that. Albeit, I do believe, like in most religions, there's concessions, right, when you're fighting to when you keep certain parts of the religion, like keeping kosher, things of that sort, for Jewish people. And they're going after the young Muslims in the society. All right. Seems kind of like an odd ad, just in general. We're trying to keep, like, or the religion out of the military, not put it into the military. The other folks here have to somewhat acquiesce to his praying time. And again, I hope this is in a peacetime or training environment. Even then, should you be doing it? Is the military conducive to that? You know, praying five times a day? I don't know. It seems like the answer would be no. He's taken his boots off. All right, so this is the Brits Army video, so the UK. All right, you know, I, I don't know how that fits in, really, what the purpose is beyond let's recruit some young Muslims or show we support young Muslims in our society. Good idea, of course. However, I don't know how terribly practical it is. Let's be honest here. 
keep on moving. So from the start of that video, we get a different vibe, right? Music tracks a little more intense, a little more hardcore. Let's say what we saw with the Aussie video or the UK video. Definitely a different vibe, right? Different culture, society, different way to recruit, to sell it to the people we want. So this one's showing more cool guy stuff, I'll call it, right? Bombs, tanks, guns, stuff looks like fun for young men. All guys want to do it, you know, not necessarily for the wrong reasons, of course. But you want to make things go bang. Boys do. That's just the nature of it. Now, we in the West have plenty of videos like this, recruiting videos. I don't know they show more recently actual, like, combat-style footage where they're taking over an objective and winning. I think they've got gone away from that. Usually it's like a make-believe thing, make-believe objective, or they're running out of the sand, the Marines do. You know, the Army as well. I think we've gone away from that in this Now, observation, looking at this video, we don't see a lot of multiculturalism, right? Most people look like they're Chinese-born and Chinese heritage if they went to DNA.com. I don't see any females so far. Looks like we're going after Muchismo, right? Get the guys fired up. And every young guy likes to see, you know, the helmet on, your face covered except your eyes sticking out. Nice, cool, some type of semi-automatic black rifle, right? Like you're really going to go to battle, at least on COD or reality, one of the two. Now, the Chinese in this look like the United States videos probably a decade or 15 years ago. You know, really testosterone-filled stuff, like get you fired up. You want to join. You want to come out of the water like a seal. You want to jump out of a plane. That's what I'm seeing here. They're going after that part of the mind. As we saw in those other two videos, it's more, hey, we're going after your heart. We need diversity you know in the uk video we respect everyone's religion if you need to pray five times a day get to it we want the ladies it makes up the military you know different points in the culture i'll call it Had to show the high-tech watch too, right? 
one you haven't even seen before. It's like an eye watch mixed up with a Garmin, mixed up with a hand computer, you know, the best tech, right? Everybody loves the tech. You think, what could I do with that? As they sit there and wait for 12 hours in a hangar to do something, but they don't show that part. They never show that in any of these, the boring parts about the military. So far, we've seen how the West does it, right? Different set of facts culturally. We see how the East is promoting it. You don't see the diversity. If you're comparing the two just on its face, if you close caption, you'd see the Chinese version looking pretty homogeneous, the people fighting it. In the West, we'd see a different multicultural aspect, men and women, different races going after it. That's how we're recruiting. Tell me what you think. I look at the comments the first day of the video, and thanks for watching.